This method can help answer key questions in the Klebsiella field, such as which genes are used to regulate capsule and associated virulence. The main advantages of this technique are that it provides a means to physically separate capsulated and non-capsulated strains, and it can also be used for rapid comparisons between strains of capsule production. Though this method was developed to study capsule regulation in Klebsiella, it can also be applied to different bacterial species. Generally, individuals who are new to this method will struggle because pouring the gradients and adding the cells to the gradients can be quite difficult. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as we show the techniques that are difficult to master, providing suggestions and tips to help the user. To begin, select a single colony from a stock plate with a sterile loop and inoculate 10 milliliters of an appropriate broth. Incubate the culture overnight. Then transfer the culture to a 15 milliliter tube and centrifuge. Next, discard the supernatant and resuspend the pellet in 2 milliliters of PBS. Repeat the centrifugation and discard the resultant supernatant. Then resuspend the pellet in 2 milliliters of PBS. To create the density gradient dilutions, combine density gradient medium with PBS. Then aliquot 600 microliters of each gradient dilution into individual 2 milliliter tubes. Take up